G'day everyone. My name's Dan and I'm a hobby programmer that's been working on the ProPresenter module for quite some years now. And in this little video, I would like to talk a bit about the new ProPresenter API module in Companion 3.5 and later. Now, if you download Companion 3.5 and do a search for ProPresenter module using the search term ProPresenter, you might be quite surprised to see two search results. And that's because there are two modules. Now this is very unusual and is going to generate probably a little bit of confusion and some questions that I hope to answer in this video now. And uh, I think the obvious questions are, what's the difference between the two? And um, why on earth have you done this? <laughs> and which one should I use? They're the three questions I'm going to try and answer. So let's begin with the difference. Most important difference to avoid confusion is to be clear about which one is which. So the old module was called ProPresenter and it keeps that name. The new module, I didn't call it ProPresenter New, I called it ProPresenter API. If you've been around the ProPresenter Pro community enough, that might make sense. In a couple more slides, I hope it really does make sense. So new, ProPresenter API, old, ProPresenter. Now, if you're running Companion 3.4 or earlier and you look for ProPresenter API, you're not going to find it. It's a new module. It's in later versions of Companion, Companion 3.5 and later, whereas the old module is in quite old versions of modules, but also in the latest version alongside with the new ProPresenter API module. Hence, there being two modules from Companion 3.5 onwards. Why two modules? Hold that question. I'll talk about more differences and hopefully answer the why in a moment. One important difference between the two modules is how they connect. The old module connects using a reverse engineered protocol and the new module connects using the officially supported API. The difference between those two really is vendor support. With a reverse engineered protocol, if I see something that I think might be a bug in behavior, um, there's no platform to go to the vendor and get support and ask for a fix. Whereas if I see a bug that I think is happening in the officially supported API, it absolutely is supported and we can have that conversation with RV and get that fixed. And that is a very important difference. In fact, um, <clears throat> over the last few years, um, there have been uh, the difficulties of supporting that reverse engineer protocol. It's been getting harder and harder because there has been little issues that we can't work around and we can't get fixed because it's unsupported. And they've been building up and compounding and gets getting harder and harder. And that comes down to answering the question, why? Really, it's a slightly selfish reason in that in terms of ongoing support, I wanted to get away from supporting the reverse engineered protocol. I wanted to cut ties with it completely and kind of deprecate that, put that, put that aside into the corner and just let that sit. It does a great job. Um, of working with older versions of ProPresenter, um, but it's very difficult to work with newer versions. Whereas the API, beautiful. So really the answer to the why is it makes it easier for me to support, to cut away, to have a brand new module where it's only using the supported API code and no reverse engineered code. And so I've separated the two, which makes a less than ideal experience um, for end users and probably generates a little bit of confusion. But the end goal is to have a fully supported module as more and more people move to newer and newer versions of ProPresenter and eventually move to the new module. Um, we can eventually deprecate the old module. So on that note, the new API module works best with current versions of ProPresenter but the old module works great with older versions of ProPresenter. In fact, before 7.9, you've got to use the old module. It's your only choice. Now, which one should I use if I'm a new user? <coughs> and I've, if I've got the new version of ProPresenter, probably stick with the API module. However, there are some features, just one or two, not many, in the reverse engineer protocol that are not yet supported in the officially supported API. And so you might still be interested in the new, in the old module. More on that in a, in a moment. 
Now, if you're an existing user um, and you've got a setup with the old module, it's, I want to be very, very clear. This is a separate module, so there's no automatic upgrade path. The buttons that you've built and the feedbacks and actions that are in those buttons will not be automatically converted to the new module. Now, you're probably having a small heart attack at the moment, so just have a rest for a second. Uh, the next slide is very good news. You don't have to upgrade. You can use both side by side. I've been doing this for months and months and months. It's perfectly fine. I cannot stress this enough. There is no technical reason why you need to upgrade. You can keep the old module with your current setup and run that forever, as long as you like alongside using the new module and maybe exploring what new features that it has. Now, if you're a new user who doesn't have a setup, probably begin with the new module and stick with it, unless you hit some little tiny corner where the API doesn't support some feature and you find out the old module with its reverse engineer protocol in fact does that feature, then you might install both as well. It's perfectly fine. In fact, that's the thing I really want to emphasize. Um, this is almost it's almost like one bit once you've got both modules installed and configured it in effect it's kind of like having a single module anyway except I have a clean separation between the two one is no longer supported kind of deprecated and the other is actively supported and so uh, with that I hope that makes sense and uh, I'll do another video where I do a kind of a walkthrough and explaining kind of how to use the new module and what's different about it Thanks a lot.